What's up guys, Justin here of Fugatech, and the Samsung Galaxy M51 is a very interesting smartphone. Besides having a huge 7000mAh battery, it also has a Super AMOLED Plus display, a Snapdragon 730G processor, and many more, all for a price of 19,990 pesos. On paper, it looks like a really good deal. And recent Galaxy M series phones have been fantastic value for money. So does the Galaxy M51 have what it takes? Let's find out in this review. Starting with design. Well, honestly, there's nothing new around it as it still has that glastic back design that we've seen in previous Samsung smartphones. So it gives that nice glass illusion even if it's made out of a polycarbonate material. Do note that it can be a fingerprint magnet and it can get scratched easily so it's best to use a case on this one. More at the back, there's the rectangular rear camera module on the top left, just like the Galaxy S20 series. Flipping to its display, we get a 6.7-inch screen with a centered punch hole, some slim bezels, and a relatively thin chin. On the left, we have the triple card tray with dedicated slots for two nano SIM cards and a micro SD card that's expandable up to 512 gigabytes. Meanwhile, on the right, we have the volume rocker and power button, which is also integrated with a fingerprint scanner. The bottom part houses a USB Type-C port, main microphone, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and a loudspeaker. Meanwhile, on top we get the secondary microphone. There's quite a heft when holding the Galaxy M51 as it weighs 213 grams, which is fine for us considering that it carries a monstrous 7000mAh battery. Still, it's exceptionally comfortable to hold and it offers better grip thanks to its curved edges. Overall, for design, there's nothing over the top. It's simple and straightforward, which is something most of us in the office prefer. More on its display, the Galaxy M51 features a large 6.7-inch Super AMOLED Plus Infinity O panel with a tall 20 by 9 aspect ratio. You get a full HD Plus resolution and a layer of Gorilla Glass 3 protection on top. The display is pretty vast and tall which makes the viewing experience pretty good. The colors are punchy and you get those deep blacks since it's an AMOLED panel. We get high contrast, noticeably vivid colors, and the screen also gets bright enough to see outdoors. There's also an always-on display feature with a ton of themes from the Samsung theme store. In the display settings under the screen mode, colors can be configured from natural to vivid. The vivid option has a white balance and RGB slider for users who want to configure their device's display more. Audio-wise, the single downward firing speaker can get loud and clear enough comparable to most mid-range smartphones today. However, it's tuned towards voice rather than music, so expect high pitches. There's Dolby Atmos on board, but you'll need to connect your headset to enable it. As for software, the Galaxy M51 runs on One UI 2.1 core on top of Android 10 out of the box. It comes with an app drawer option and offers both gestures and on-screen buttons for navigation. Samsung added several apps pre-installed including Lazada, Live Transcribe, and several more Samsung apps. But you can uninstall them which shouldn't be a problem. It also has the latest features such as a built-in screen recorder, dark mode, and focus mode. Out of the 128GB of internal storage, you get a usable 106GB that can be expanded via that micro SD card slot. Next up, let's talk about performance. Powering the Galaxy M51 is a Snapdragon 730G processor, which is a rather familiar mid-range chipset. It's paired with an Adreno 618 GPU along with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. With this configuration, you can do heavy tasks and intensive multitasking, but expect some occasional stutters. We tried heavy games on it such as Mobile Legends and Asphalt 9 and they all worked fine and responsive. We do advise using the standard graphics settings for a more optical gameplay. We also encountered some minimal heating but they weren't that bothersome. For benchmark scores, here are the numbers we got. To unlock the M51, you can use the side-mounted fingerprint scanner and its face recognition. They're both pretty convenient and work well, while the facial recognition takes a second to unlock the phone. When it comes to connectivity, the Galaxy M51 comes with the usual features such as dual SIM, 4G LTE, dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, GPS, and NFC. And when it comes to battery, its massive 7000mAh capacity is by far the largest we've seen on a smartphone. 
With this, the device should last you two to three days perhaps if you're occasionally running light tasks and apps. In the PC Mark's battery test, the battery life was rated at 25 hours and 29 minutes, which is really great. It supports 25 watts charging via Type-C port, so a full charge takes about 2 hours, which is much acceptable considering the battery capacity. Meanwhile, in our standard video loop test, which entails the phone being at 50% brightness, 50% volume, airplane mode turned on, and with headphones plugged in, the device lasted a longer 31 hours and 56 minutes. That's really something. The Galaxy M51 has four shooters at the back consisting of a 64 megapixel main, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 5 megapixel depth, and a 5 megapixel macro lens. On its tiny notch reside a 32 megapixel front camera. Quality wise, shots from the primary rear shooter did some excellent daylight pictures with decent detail and colors. The wide angle lens also does a reasonably good job here. Samsung has also bundled a single take feature that captures photos and videos with all of the cameras and gives you the best shots and moments in one album. This is the feature that we've seen in flagship phones like the Note 20 and S20 lineup. And after capturing all, you can keep the best and disregard the rest. It's nice to have this feature, but note that it doesn't prioritize getting the highest resolution. For low light conditions, we got surprisingly good colors, although details can be blurry and grainy at times. And as for selfies, it takes decent pictures in the right light conditions. The skin tone sometimes tends to alter, but most of the time it worked fine. However, don't expect a good one when in low light conditions. Video recording goes up to 4K resolution and the quality is more than adequate. There's sufficient detail and noise is controlled well, as long as you have good lighting. All in all, the Samsung Galaxy M51 packs in a pretty versatile camera setup that certainly is capable of taking good photos which is also suitable for social media postings without editing or enhancement much. Okay, we're down to our final thoughts. For the price of 19,990 pesos, well, the Samsung Galaxy M51 is not the flashiest smartphone in the market today. Nonetheless, it still offers a lot that you might really consider especially if you're focused on buying a Samsung smartphone. First off, of course you get a massive 7000mAh battery, then there's the Snapdragon 730G chipset, the Super AMOLED Plus display, and a good set of cameras. It's a well-rounded device and it makes the perfect phone for people who use a phone rather than flaunt it. So that's it for our Samsung Galaxy M51 review. We'd like to hear your thoughts about it in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.